Hey there guys, welcome back to My Lane Perspective. Today we're going to be focusing on the front fog lights on this vehicle. I want them to run independently and what that means is that I don't have to have my headlights on in order to turn on the factory fog lights. Now while this is a modified front bumper and fog lights, they're still running off the factory wires. So this will apply to anyone whether you've modified your 4Runner or not. As long as you're using the factory wiring, this modification will work for you guys. So come with me. There's only one thing that you're going to have to buy. I will show that to you. I'll show you how to install it. And then you'll be able to turn on your fog lights anytime you want. All right, guys, hood's popped. This is the only thing you're going to need. It's a mini add a circuit holder. And so let me get this off and I'll kind of show you what that looks like. So I would recommend a pair of needle nose just to help getting these guys out. So this is a four prong. And so we're going to bend one of these tabs up. So it's this one right here that we want to bend up. We're going to bend him all the way up like that. Set him to the side. Open up our kit. So one quick modification that you're going to have to make is modifying this guy to connect to here. So that's not going to work. But this end here will be perfect. So I'm just going to cut this guy and solder that one on and then do some shrink wrap. All right, there you have it. That's just a quick and easy way. So that guy is on there. At this point, it's just going to be plug and play. So let's go put it in. So through some trial and error, I learned a couple things. First, if your goal is like mine and you want to run your fog lights whenever you want, except when the high beams are on, and you want it to turn off with the key, that is power when the key is in. And when you take the key out, it'll turn off. So I still have the fuse and I'm only going to put one prong into this spot. So you can see the metal right there. It's just going to slide in like that. And I'm going to bend that down a little bit. Just put this right over the top. I'm going to turn my fog lights on. Nothing. And then I'm going to put the key to the on position. And there you have it. Low beams, which is normally when they would work. And with high beams, they turn on. Take the key out of the ignition, and they turn off. That's step one. Now, let me take you to step two, where I will continue to have these turn on whenever I want, even if the high beams are on. Let me show you how to do that. All right, you guys. So, for this next step, we are going to make the fog lights work independently as well as with the high beams. So this lower cover needs to come off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to get the Phillips out. So we've got one Phillips here. So let me get that real quick. So now I have that screw out and then I have the car running so I can turn the wheel. And then I've taken out that screw and I have one left and then this screw over here. All right, with all those three screws out, I've already loosened mine, but just pull that off. You might have to pull kind of hard. And then the clip we're going after is this guy here, so ignore the yellow and then this white one back here. So I'm gonna disconnect this. I'll show you what two pins you need to do, and then we'll vampire clip them together. All right, now that I've got this disconnected, the two pins that you're going after are gonna be 16 and 17. So you can kind of see here, that's gonna be this red one and then this black and white one. And then I'm gonna be using a vampire clip to put those together. So probably just grab this blue one, just get the two wires in there, crimp it down, and then everything should be done. All right, you guys, so you can see I've got that clip on there. And so now we just plug it in here. All right, so that clip is on, the car's running. I've got the high beams on, the low beams, and the fogs. Let's see if it worked. And indeed it did. All right, you guys, well, that's going to do it for this episode of My Lane Perspective. Thanks for checking that out. If it was helpful, let me know by leaving me a like down in the comment section below. Uh, leave a comment with any thoughts or differences that you guys have experienced. Come on. There, just needs a little love tap. And we'll see you guys next time.